A lot of you guys have been telling me to play this new PC game called Sledders, and if it's got snowmobiling in it, I'm in. So I went out and I bought a brand new gaming laptop and all the recording gear to make it happen. My other recording did not come out well. It was something to do with my microphone. It was really scratchy. It's like all you could hear was like this really like vinyl scratch throughout the whole gameplay last time. So uh, we're doing another video here. I still don't know what I'm doing. This is the day after, and I ended up playing it for maybe like half an hour or something. And all I was doing is running into trees anyway, so you guys didn't want to watch that. Uh, let's see here. We're going to pick a map. I found out a few things on my own while I was playing that I'll uh, share with you guys, I guess. But pretty much all of these are uh, different servers you can hop in. It shows you the players in each one. I like to jump in one of the biggest ones. Norway. Let's go there. All right, loading. I did choose another sled. I've only uh, been on a couple sleds so far um, out of the garage, which is... I'm trying to still figure out the uh, all the buttons here. Uh, you can't change your sled here, but you can do it after. Uh, let's see. W? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can remember the... Oh, boy. Okay. All right. So I found out real quick the arrows on the keyboard are to lean. Oh! And then the uh, A button and the D button are to turn the skis and I am struggling oh look at that freaking wheelie and then R is the respawn yeah you guys didn't miss a whole whole lot because uh, I was still trying to figure this thing out and, and honestly I, I suck really bad so far but like I said in the last one which you guys didn't hear but I'm gonna become the greatest sledder gamer of all time mark my words and I also want to hear down below if any of you guys play this game. Um, I think it came out like two months ago or something. At least that's when people started telling me about it. And I'm a little bit late to the game, I guess. Oh, freaking wheelie. Uh, a little bit late to the game, I guess, by a couple months. But um, so far, I love what these guys are doing. I love that there's a snowmobile video game out there. Uh-oh. Going off the map. Oh. Ooh, that was a nice little turnaround. Um... Yeah, I love what they're doing. I fully support anything with snowmobiling, so I'm really excited about this game. I'm excited for the uh, features to come out, the new features. I, I'm hoping there's going to be, like, racing. I think that would be really cool. Um, there's a lot of things that would be really cool. Hill climbing, competitions. Um, yeah, updates to the map, maybe, like, a freestyle... Uh, park, you know, like they, they do like a skate park kind of thing, what do you call those? I don't know, sled park. Oh, man, I suck. Um, this sled, I believe, hang on a second, let me let me do a little bit more riding. Okay, until I crash again. Then, then we're gonna escape, we're gonna go check out the, what's in our garage here. Uh, change vehicle, so what I've tried so far, what I was just on, is this Lion 3900, which I believe all these sleds are actual sleds, but they can't use the name because of branding and whatever. Uh, but this, the Lion 3900, I believe is a Lynx, and then you got your Skidoos, and then there's another Skidoo, or this is maybe, I think that's Skidoo. And then up here we got some Articats, and then we got our Polarises. Um... And then, one of the most exciting sleds here, this Yamaha Enticer, baby. One of my favorite sleds. Actually, let's try to, let's try that out. I did rip it a little bit. Um, we'll do single player. I did rip it around a little bit on the last recording. Um, but I'll show you guys here what that runs like. As you can tell, not as fast. But, handles pretty good. I don't think we're going to be winning any competitions with this, but... Yeah, we're going so slow. It's probably not even worth it. And right into a tree. That's how we roll. I'm almost as good in this game as I am in real sledding. Um, I also... So I, ha I don't know anything about this game, really. I've seen a couple uh, pictures. I've seen some pictures. Uh, I saw a couple clips, I think, on like TikTok or something. People riding. But I know you can set up mods on this thing obviously it's a pc game so you can do lots of things you couldn't otherwise do on a console but man why are we going so slow 
But I saw one guy had this sled and he modded it out so it goes like mock speed. So eventually I'll get into that. What I really want to hear down in the comments, guys, if you want to see more of this on the channel, uh, I'd love to make it a thing, but if nobody wants to watch these, if everybody wants just the normal sledding videos, I'll stick to that. But I definitely want to support this game. I want to support anything to do with snowmobiling. So, uh, oh, I see what I was doing wrong. I was leaning forward the whole time, but still, oh, man. That is slow. It's pretty realistic, honestly, because an, an enticer in this deep of snow would not do well at all. But, all right, enough of that. Until I start getting mods in the enticer, we're not going to ride that. We're going to change over to a, uh, I think I had a turbo. Um, and it was ripping real good. It's supposed to be the longest track they got here. Single player. Uh, let's try a new map. Mountains. All right. So technically, this isn't my first gameplay. I mean, it kind of is, but kind of not really. We can hear that turbo, eh? Whoa. Okay. Night and day difference between the enticer and this. Come on. Oh, man. One thing I do love about this game so far is the... Uh, oh, boy. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, backflip, backflip. Oh, no. Oh, that's a neck breaker. One thing I love about this game is the uh, physics. I think it's really, uh, really neat. Pretty realistic, honestly. The hardest thing with the keyboard right now, which is why I keep flipping over the handlebars, is that uh, there's no, there's just all or nothing. There's no like feathering the throttle, which I believe you would have on a, oh, right into a freaking tree. You would have on a controller, you'd be able to feather the, the uh, throttle so you don't uh, immediately go over the handlebars or pull wheelies or whatnot. Um, and I know they do have controllers. You can get an Xbox controller and use it on the PC. Look at this carve. That's a good one. Keep holding that. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is invest in a controller. Oh, can we get out of it? No, we're digging deep down. I'm going to invest in a controller so we can make this a little bit easier on ourselves. But so far, this is what I got with the keyboard. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What I've been doing, actually, so I've tried to reach out to this company. They're very hard to reach out to. Uh, I can't find, like, an actual email, but I've tried an Instagram. And uh, what I want to do, well, I want to see first if I can uh, help them out in any way. What I've been doing, I have a notepad written down of all the features I wish it had. And I'm going to get start collecting people's feedback so I can give that to the video game company and they can make it uh, make this game everything it can be because uh, we need to support this sport of snowmobiling uh, a couple things I've written down if I can peek over to my notepad oh hang on a second guys all right a couple things I've noted so far immediately um, the multiplayer races and challenges hill climbs distance races um, yeah, there's various tracks. Um, there's an old game I used to play on, I think it was PlayStation 3. It's called Skate. And on that game, the, the most fun part of that game was a feature called Ho Hall of Meat. <laughs> and it was pretty much you skate to your death and see how many bones you can break. And off of that, you get a score. And uh, they had like a fun multiplayer um edition of that and I think that would be awesome to somehow later on incorporate in this game because surprisingly it's a lot of fun to actually hurt yourself in a video game so I always had fun with that I, I played that game for hours just breaking my bones and it was a lot of fun oh 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 what the that would have did some damage to my sled oh backflip uh, what else we got? <clears throat> a distance calculator would be good. Like how far you've gone since you started in this map. Um, and then you can kind of gauge on where you're at on the map, which I haven't quite figured out how to check the map. I see my compass here on the bottom left, but I got to figure out how you can see the map 
and uh, also respawn points would be good like you customize your respawn points because I'm pretty sure it, it drops you in the same area every time again I'm new to this so they may have some of these features but that's something I want to see big jump oh I just ate my seat Wow. I like the uh, I like the effects here hopefully that's loud enough for you guys I probably should check that all right, so it's not super loud, but I don't think we really need to have it much louder than that. Uh, let's see. We're going to go back to our garage. We're going to try a new vehicle. I don't want to record too much on this game, I guess, because I want to get your uh, input down in the comments. I don't want it to be, you know, a 30-minute video um, if you don't like it. So let's go back into a multiplayer game. Um, if you guys have any tips on not only this game, but uh, on recording... I'm using what are it, Streamlabs and Steam. This game is on Steam, if anybody didn't catch that. Um, you guys got any uh, input on what I should do better, what I can do, uh, settings, anything? You let me know, because uh, if this becomes a thing, I want to get to pro at it. Okay, so this is a non-turbo skidoo. And I forget where... <laughs> All right. I knocked my head so hard I went into the next uh, game. All right, browse multiplayer games. Maybe yeah, yeah. I kind of want to see somebody else. I wanna, I wanna play with somebody else here. Uh, another thing I was writing down is uh, various challenges and awards for completion. Like uh, if you do tricks in a game, whether it's single player or multiplayer, you get like these little milestones and stuff. Uh, hours played. Like if you do a backflip, get a backflip award, that kind of thing. That'd be kind of neat to have a collection, like a trophy case in the garage. Um, I've noticed, too, let me try to... Hill climbing is really difficult on this, like near impossible. I don't know if it's because I'm playing on the keyboard, but let me show you what I mean. We're going to go up to this mountain. Like Getting up there so far, it seems is impossible without cheat codes, I, I guess. Um... Anyway, yeah, I got a few other things written down. I'm going to keep writing them down as I play this game. I plan to mark down a bunch of hours, clock in some hours on this game. Whoa! Um, so, yeah, I can, A, bring you guys content, but also become the best sledder and also give them some feedback on how to make this game freaking awesome. Come on, come on! Yeah! See, without like, yeah, I'm caught up in a tree. So like, it's nearly impossible to climb without without looping it. Ah. Oh, oh. Come on, honey. Ah. Holy crap! Holy. All right. Anyway, it's near impossible. We made it quite a ways, but you just you can't get too far up the mountain. It doesn't climb very well. All you do is just roll over backwards, and and then also I got to figure out how to. Uh... Oh, I got to figure out how to change the camera angle. Just like that. C for camera. Yep. Okay, got it. This is kind of neat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Broken leg. This is pretty neat. I like this. Wow. Whoa, this is crazy. You feel like you're going so much faster. Alright, I need to reset. Okay, there we go. I imagine there's a lot of bugs with this game still. I was just trying to respawn there. It wasn't letting me. But you'll have that with whoa, with new games. But I'm excited for the future of this. And uh, if you guys want to check it out, I can leave a link down below. Or you can just check it out on Steam. Uh, I just downloaded it. I just bought this computer. I know nothing about anything. Um, but all I know is that Sledders is on Steam. Oh, boy. This is scary. Oh. 
I kind of like this view a little bit better, honestly. Was that a jump? Potential jump right there? Oh, boy. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, backflip. I hit a tree. Wow, this looks like a fun terrain. And there's the tree again. So it, spawn, it respawns you at a uh, 180 degrees by the looks. One of my goals in this game is to do a backflip and a front flip. We'll probably make videos of that coming up soon. And then hill climbing. We're going to try to make it up to that mountain once I figure out how to do uh, mods and stuff. Oh! All right. There I lie. Laying dead on my tunnel. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, really, I need your, your feedback down below. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of this, if you like this video, if you want to see me uh, do more gaming stuff. So thanks for watching, friends. I'll see you next time. Thank you. We're out. First video thing recording of my life. What do you think, Jonesy?